Then why don't you turn around, high five three or four people, tell them I'm glad to see you tonight. Let's have some church. Hallelujah. You know it. Let's sing it out. Let the kings, let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where. Sing that second verse out. Let the king of my heart, let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, Sing it with all you got, say, you are good, good, oh, you are good. Come on, can we shoot those hands up tonight and just love on our Savior, tell him you are good. You are good, good, oh, you are good. Sing that out. You're never going to let. You're never going to let. You're never going to let me down. You're never going to let. You're never going to let me down. You're never going to let. You're never going to let me down. Come on, if you believe that, let's sing it with one voice. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. Come on, shout out. You're never gonna you're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let Oh, yeah. 
him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Word says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Has anybody ever tasted of the Lord? Amen. He is good. Nothing like Him. Nobody like God. Nobody like Jesus. We just want to just take a minute and welcome everybody to the house of the Lord tonight. We've got a lot of good things going to happen tonight. We're going to crown some young ladies and give out some awards and just a lot of great things. And you know, We're just glad to be able to do that. We appreciate all of our workers and those that minister in these areas and uh, it's just going to be a great night but we're glad you're here and uh, I'm sure that we've got some people with us tonight maybe this is your first time here at Milligan and uh, we just thank you for being with us the Lord is going to bless I know in a special way and we just welcome you all to the house of the Lord tonight and uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and we're going to invite his presence I say invite uh, but he's here amen he's already here he's in this has his house it's his house. As Pastor said this morning, we are the guests. <laughs> Amen. We are the guests. And so we want to pray and ask God to bless all that's done tonight. He bless our children. Don't you thank the Lord for our children and our ministries towards our children? Would you just give the Lord a hand for all that's done around this house? Amen. What a blessing it is. And so tonight, join me. Let's pray. Let's ask God to move and minister in just a mighty, mighty way tonight. Let's pray. Father, we just give you all the praise. All the glory, Lord, for the good things that you have done throughout this day. I thank you for the service this morning, Lord. I thank you for the lives that were touched and ministered to God in this house. I thank you, Lord, that the spirit of fear was broken on the lives of many people in this house today. And I know that there were many set free. And now, Lord, tonight as we come together, Lord, to honor these young ladies, Father, we just pray, God, that your blessing be upon everything that's done. Lord Jesus, just like you laid your hands on the children, I pray tonight that you would just lay your hands on these children, oh God, on these young ladies, and that you would bless them tonight. And God, let this be a very special time for them. I pray the Holy Ghost would touch and minister in a mighty powerful way. And Lord, we will give you all the praise and all the glory for all the good things that you have done and are yet to do in our young people and our children tonight. Fathers, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Would you give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise tonight? He's worthy of. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, our custom is to fellowship just a little bit, so what I want you to do is step out of your chair, cross the aisle, shake hands, hug necks, let somebody know it's good to see them tonight.
praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise this evening. Amen. I know we got all kinds of stuff going on tonight, but how many thankful that we still serve a God of breakthrough? Amen. Hallelujah. Turn around three or four people around you one more time and tell them we're fixing to have a breakthrough in this place.
Hallelujah. Has there ever been a breakthrough, God, for you? If he has, give him a praise for it right now. Say, God, we thank you for the times that you broke through on our behalf. God, we just praise you for that. And we give you glory for it. Our ushers are coming at this time. We come into you for the evening tithes and offerings. Just elbow somebody and tell them, praise God, we can give tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb of God. I want to, I, I, I haven't told Pastor Jesse this, but I told his lady. And uh, um, I, I want to hear from two or three of the young people tonight concerning youth camp. And we'll just wrap this in all together and just have a little something here. Um, uh, how many kids did we have at youth camp? Had 55 kids. Amen. And uh, we were going down. The, we was going down the hall today after service, and a young man just on one of our cameras walked up to me, and he said, "Boy, Pastor, he said you camp was off awful, awful, just awesome, just awesome, and uh, <laughs> awesome, and." Uh, uh, I, I just want to hear a little bit um, from a couple of them tonight, and Pastor Jesse can decide who, but um, just take your offering and your tithing, if you would, and just, just put it on your chest. Father, we love you tonight. We thank you, God, for the opportunity that we have to give into your kingdom, and we praise you, Lord, because you are God that comes and just meets our need, touches us, Lord moves upon us, Lord, leads us through this thing called life. God, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your keeping power. Thank you for your divine supply. And just thank you, Lord, for the way that you come. Now, God, we ask you to bless the giver. Bless them above anything that they can think or ask. And God, I pray because of their obedience to your tithing and offering, God, that you will bless everything that they touch. God, we pray as we give today that the spiritual leadership of Milligan Assembly will use it for the advancement of the kingdom, for the saving of the lost. And Father, we'll give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. They all God's people said, amen and amen. God bless you as you give. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore every heart that is broken, broken. and great are you, Lord. Help me sing, it's your breath. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out.
with him. Amen. Hallelujah. If you enjoyed our family tonight, would you let them know it all day today, all morning, this morning. And uh, Sister Sharon, if you would uh, pull up Luke chapter 18 for me in the King James Version. And we'll begin reading about verse number 15 there or so. First of all, on behalf of all of our our teachers, of our girls, and our boys, we want to just welcome you. You may be seated tonight for a few moments. We want to just welcome you to the house of God tonight. If you have or if you're part of one of our MAG groups, especially in the outreach department, you'll find out that Pastor's heart has been stirred for um, our kids of our community and moms and dads that just not going to church anywhere and many of them are far away from God and we want to do everything that we can to reach them while we still have time to work and uh, in a few days I, I don't know exactly the date but we'll be letting you know uh, we're going to start feeding our kids on Wednesday afternoon. On the 15th, we want you to bring your kids. You get off from work, and a lot of people don't have time to, uh, up to ages of, at 7 o'clock is when we'll feed them. And that's on Wednesday afternoon. And, uh, but I'll be getting with all my heads and telling everybody how we're going to do this. But um, we want to make it easier for parents during the midweek to be able to come to the house of God on Wednesday and be part of our services and all of our 
missionettes and our Royal Rangers and our youth to be part of all these ministries. And uh, you'll be hearing more about that, but we're going to feed our kids. If we, if we go pick up some, uh, if they don't have clothes, we're going to clothe them. If they don't have shoes, we're going to put shoes on their feet. But we're going to tell them about Jesus. And we're going to tell them what Jesus can do in their life. And if they don't have a way, we're going to go get them. And we're going to do everything we can because we just know God is going to supply us with brand new vans. Amen. We just know that. And, uh, uh, but uh, I want to read this scripture to you real quick here. It says, And they brought unto him also infants that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto him and said these words, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, shall in no wise enter therein. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? It was through the calling forth of children, I hope you got that, that a man said, Lord, what shall I do to inherit eternal life. That's how important kid ministry is inside the house of God. Amen. And without that being said, no, you now. I asked her what was I to do tonight and she looked at me and said, I'll tell you. I guess he showed me. want to say welcome tonight and I'm excited about what we're fixing to see tonight. Um, we're going to be honoring our girls ministry program tonight and this is something that has been a part of the Assemblies of God for many, many, many years. I know a little bit about it. I've taught the rainbows and then right on up to the older ones and uh, it takes a lot of work each week. It takes preparation. It takes nerves of steel Amen. I'm telling you. And I have got a group of ladies. You know, we have our mag uh, groups here, and Pastor put me over the women's ministry part of the mag group. And Sister Angie Ward is covering the girls' ministry. Sister Narisa is doing the women's ministry, and Sister Barlow. And I will have to say, they are amazing, doing a fantastic job. Sister Angie works so hard. She works as a coordinator with this group, and I never hear her complain, ever. That's amazing, y'all. If you've ever been in a leadership position and you have people that work under you with kids, that's amazing. But they're God-called. I believe every one of these teachers are God-called teachers to do what they do. So I want to bring them up right now. So all of our... our girls ministry from the old school it was missionettes and I have a hard time getting away from that but for girls ministry so we've got the rainbows the daisies the prims and the friends or girls girls only I think is what or something I don't know <laughs> come on all, all of them I want all everybody the girls the boys and in children's, in this, in this particular part of the children's ministry, the little boys and girls are together until they start kindergarten. And then when they start kindergarten, the boys go to Royal Rangers and the little girls continue on in the girls' ministries. So, we've got a lot that are not here tonight, but we're so very thankful for every one of them that has made an effort to be here and we'll be having our honor star cranny at the end of service. And that is such an amazing 
award for girls to receive, and they work really, really, really hard. See, Pastor, all of them want to get to the back of the stage. Okay. I told them this bunch worshiped like a little bunch of Pentecostals over there on that front row tonight. I don't know if y'all noticed or not. But uh, I'm going to turn it over to Sister Angie. Oh, Sister Diane. You see, I didn't have to do anything for this whole thing. They did all of it, and I'm so proud of them. So, Sister Diane. Thank you. So, we wanted to thank um, Sister Debbie because she supports us whenever we come to her needing anything. She's always supports us, so in our church, too, and our pastor. So, we wanted to say thank you, Sister Debbie. Um, so, tonight, um, before we get started with the awards, we are going to do our pledges so that we can show off our kiddos a little bit. Um, and we have our, play, our flag stationed over here to the side. That way. So we are going to start with the pledge to the um, American flag. If everybody would please rise. Now the pledge to the Christian flag. Now we have the pledge to the Bible. Will, can you hold the Bible for me? And when we pledge to the Bible, we hold our hands out like this, boys and girls, right? Ready? I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. And then from here, our older groups do the pledge to the... I love you too, buddy. Do the pledges to the girls' flag, so they'll do that from here. I pledge allegiance to the girls' club flag and to the ministry for which it stands. Girls united in Christian living, in witnessing, in service, in mission, and in love for others. Awesome job. Good job. So my rainbows will stay here, and I think the other ladies are going to exit. Um, as Sister Debbie said, this age group is the only age group that we have boys and girls. Um, we are the rainbows. We start at age three, and we go until they start um, kindergarten. Um, we are the Noah's Ark theme, and each of our badges um, is an animal, and an animal represents um, a different theme. We have forgiveness, thankfulness, praise friendship, just different ones. And you'll see some of the kids here have their, their vests on. Um, they have to earn five badges before they get a vest, and most everybody has done that tonight. So we do have three that we'll be promoting out and one that honored, and that's Mr. Parker. Two, yep. So to be an honor rainbow, you have to earn 18 badges. And to earn 18 badges, you have to complete all four weeks, um, all four lessons in the... Okay. Okay, can you hang with me just a minute? <laughs> Potty break. Um, so, oh, goodness. So to be an honor rainbow, you have to complete 18 badges. Um, each badge is four weeks long, um, and it also has a memory verse. Um, and just because they're little don't mean they get away with anything. They have to learn that memory verse, and they have to say it by themselves, and they do an awesome, awesome job. So we're super proud of them tonight. We do have some missing. We average about 12 a week, which is quite a bit at this age. So thank you all in advance for the prayers. 
So, but we do love them. We enjoy them, and they usually teach us more than we teach them, I'll tell you. So, without further ado, we will start with our, our girls and boys. Now, um, Tara will be with us another year, so um, we will present her with her certificate of completion for this year. And Miss Tara has completed 13 badges of her 18, so I'm sure she'll be honoring out next year. Miss Adeline has completed 14 of her 18 badges, and so she will be with us another year, so she'll be honoring out next year as well. Mr. Will. This is his first year in rainbows with us, but he completed five, turn around so mommy and daddy can see, five badges this year. So we're going to work hard and get him caught up, and he, I'm sure he'll honor out next year too. Yeah. Timmy will be uh, moving into Royal Rangers this year. As I said before, um, we're the only boys and girls, and once they hit kindergarten, the boys go to Royal Rangers with Sister Chris, and our girls promote to Daisies with Sister Dawn. And um, we've had Timmy for a couple of years now, and he has grown so much. When he first came into the class, he was wrapped around Mom's leg, and it wasn't too long before he was a, a big leader in our class, showing the other boys and girls um, how, how we do things in rainbows. And I'm super proud of his growth. And Timmy completed 11 badges. We also have promoting, these boys and girls aren't here, but I did want to mention them, um, Raylan Sheets, he'll be promoting two Rangers as well. He completed two badges. Miss Lily Norman completed two badges. She'll be with us another year. And Mr. Kaysen Anglin completed one badge, and he'll be coming back with us as well. So, Pastor, oh, I'm sorry, where did, oh, Miss Finley. Miss Finley is um, brother and sister Dubose's granddaughter, so we only have her over the summer. But Miss Finley, while she was here, she completed two badges with us this summer. Here's your certificate, baby. And Pastor, if you will come so that you can pin our honor rainbow for us. Thank you, Adeline. We're having a time with these balloons tonight. So as I said, um, Parker completed the badges that he needed to be Honor Star. So he will actually be pinned, or I'm sorry, Honor Star, Honor Rainbow. So he'll actually be pinned tonight by Pastor. And this is, um, these are pins that he'll carry all the way through, even with Royal Rangers. Pastor pins you honor rainbow. Come on, buddy. I'm so proud of Parker. Parker, um, y'all know Parker, but when Parker smiles, he doesn't just smile with his mouth, he smiles with his whole face. And he is such a joy to be in class. He challenges me, but he is such a joy to be in the class. And he told me he didn't want to leave, so he may be coming back. I don't know. <laughs> but we are super excited for the things that we see um, God doing in Parker's life. So these are our rainbows. I believe coming up next is Sister Dawn with the daisies. Dawn, and this is the only daisy I have here tonight. We did have two. 
Um, the other one is not here tonight. Um, but Daisy's is a class for kindergarten girls only. Only girls, no boys, and only kindergartners. So that makes us the smallest class. And I only get to keep my Daisy's one year, whereas other classes get to have them a couple years. So I cherish the whole year that I get to spend with them. Um, in our class, um, just like the rainbows, every unit is four classes long to earn a badge. And before we earn our badges, um, we also have distinctives that we need to learn. And I think Lila might help me. Do you think you want to help me say the, okay, let's see. Let's say our daisy colors. What are our daisy colors? Yellow. Yellow and white, which stands for light and purity. And our scripture verse? Let, Let your light shine, which Matthew, Mark 5.16. Yes, we always want to go through the gospel on that one. And um, our pledge. As, as a daisy, I will be good, happy, good, and helpful, letting my light shine for Jesus. And what is our motto? Daisies. Daisies tell about Jesus. Very good, very good. And in our classes, instead of five badges, since we only have one year, um, three badges gets the massage. And Lila here, she has got all that she needed to make honor Daisy. She has got earned all nine badges. And we congratulate her today for that. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She's worked very hard. And I love her smile and I love her sweet spirit. It's as beautiful as her name, Lila Rose. And um, we're missing Lily tonight. She had earned five badges. Um, she was my little bee. She's just buzzing all over the place. I, our very first lesson was on um, what we believe, and we had a bee theme. And we had little bees buzzing around. If you look at our table in the back, we've got some pictures of our girls with little antennas on them. And that was fun, wasn't it, Lila? Yes. So right now we want to um, give Lila her certificate for having earned five, or I'm sorry, nine units, which earned her her Honor Daisy certificate. Congratulations. And... Thank you. And she also earns a pin, which Pastor is going to pin on her sash, right next to her honor rainbow pin. Pastor Crown Jr., Honor Daisy. And I do want to say, as far as I know, I don't know that I have any daisies for next year, so if anybody knows kindergarten girls, please uh, bring them on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and next, <coughs> next we're going to do our prints with Sister Angie.
good evening. I'm Angela Fugate, for those of you don't know me, and this is, and I co-teach Prim's first and second grade girls with Mallory Rhodes. Um, tonight, we have some girls that are going to honor, well, one that's going to honor out, and the rest of them are going to stay with me for another year, because they'll be going into the, well, one will be honoring out, and then one will be promoting up, right? The first one is going to be Ariani Seagreen. She has earned six badges. <laughs> she will be staying with me for another year. The next one is Riley Ann Taylor, but she is not here tonight. The next one, the other one is Lainey Pettis, but she's not here as well. Um, Kimberly Woolery, she has earned six badges. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mallory. The next one is Amy Morris, but she is not here as well. She earned two badges. <coughs> Um, next, I have Hannah Tadlock, and she has earned four badges. <laughs> Sorry for the shaking hands. Um, the last thing I have is Kinsley Salter, and she will be honoring out with 18 badges. She was with me for first and second grade. <laughs> I thought you, you got a point. Sweetie, Pastor pins you on her prim. Get those out of the way. <laughs> okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Sister Angie Ward, and I uh, co-teach with Sister Lisa Adams here. And for some of you who do not know about our STARS program, um, the STARS program, I actually get these lovely young ladies for three years, third, fourth, and fifth grade. And during that time, they earn their badges, and they learn their distinctives and things. To earn a badge, let me explain. To earn a badge, they have to come four weeks in a row and know their memory verse and do their project. So when we say these badges, there's a lot that goes into it, parents. It's not just some little thing that they do. It is a hard thing that these young ladies have to go through to earn those little badges. And so tonight we're going to honor these ladies, and then we have some other ladies that we're going to bring up. So first off, I have Miss Allison McDonald. And Miss Allison's been with me now. Um, this year, and Miss Allison's earned five badges this year. So, Allison, here you go. Okay. Okay. Next, I have Miss Bailey Jernigan. Bailey was super excited when she got to come to my class, and it has been a very, very awesome year with Miss Bailey. Bailey has earned seven badges this year. All right, next, this young lady, she just touches all of us every, every week. 
Um, Miss Shay Del Pozo has worked very, very hard and has earned six badges this year. Yeah. I know, right? Um, next, we have her sister, Miss Shelby Del Pozo. And Miss Shelby has earned a total of. What did I do? Oh, okay. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> uh, Shelby has earned seven badges this year. There you go, Shelby. All right, next up, we have a young lady, Miss Carly Dubose. And Miss Carly, um, just like her little sister before, Carly is here for the summer. So just for the summer, over that time, Carly's worked super hard, and we've been happy to have her here. Miss Carly has earned two badges. All right, and I, I think our ladies wanted to kind of show off a little bit for you tonight. So, Bailey, you want to hold the microphone, and y'all can say it all together? What are our star's colors, girls? Blue and white, which stand for loyalty and purity. I will follow Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Having accepted Jesus as my Savior, I will follow him in service, in testimony, in attitude, and relationships. Striving always to glorify my Lord as a star. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Psalms 86, dot, dot 11 and 12. Good job. Good job, ladies. Good job. Listen, I want to tell you, we have a blast in every one of these rooms. And um, so we want to say to these girls, congratulations. And I'm going to ask these ladies if they'll go and have a seat because we have some very special young girls that we're going to honor next, okay? So go right down there, honey. Thank you, girls. Good job. Listen, we were used to the carpet with these balloons. They are sliding everywhere, so we got to come up with another plan for next year. Um, listen, I wanted to say to this church, before we go on with our honor stars that are coming up, that we really appreciate all of the support that you give to this ministry. I know some churches look upon these little kids as just babies, but I'm going to tell you what, these babies love this church. They pray... Those are some little prayer warriors. They pray for each and every one of you. Sometimes the sick or whoever, whatever's going on, they know what's going on. And they pray like nobody else in there in those rooms. So I thank this church for always supporting these children. You know, at this church, those kids don't pay for nothing when they come. We take care of everything. And that's just a small thing, but it means so very much. To the parents, I say thank you for bringing them. It is so important to bring these kids each and every Wednesday night. There is nothing like laying that foundation for your children and knowing that word so they can stand on it, whatever comes, okay? To granddaddies and grandmamas that bring those babies, thank you as well, okay? To all the different people that are here that high-fives our children and gives them hugs and kisses, you know, that means something to those kids. And they know that they can come to any of us. They know where their family is, their church family. To so some of you that don't know, I thank my teachers. I couldn't do nothing without them, all of them. Sister Diane works with those rainbows and loves them like nobody else. I don't know what we'll do. I'm kind of like Sister Deb. We walk down the aisles on Wednesdays and hope that her and Kristen's there. Because <laughs> we're like, Lord, let that rainbow teacher be here this week. <laughs> To Sister Dawn, with all of her knowledge and all the time that she's been here and teaching daisies, thank you, Sister Dawn. You bring such wisdom to our group. To Sister Angie, thank you for your commitment all the time. <laughs> Sister, some of our teachers, y'all don't know, they pull double duty. They're here on Wednesdays, and they also teach on Sunday mornings. Right. These ladies love your babies. Yeah. Okay? So, Sister Lisa, thank you. 
for always being my backup. <laughs> She's always here. Like I said, I couldn't do none of this without my ladies that help and support me each, each and every week. So at this point, we're going to honor some special ladies. And I want to tell you about the honor stars. These ladies have gone above and beyond the, the, the girls that you saw here with our stars group. These are what we call our honor stars. And these are our fifth graders who are stepping up and stepping out. They'll be moving on to youth, and it's hard after being with them for three years. It's hard to see them go. But these ladies, let me just throw it over. <laughs> We're done with that. Oh, that was Pastor. That's funny. There you go, Pastor. We're done. <laughs> yeah, they went for a swim. Why not? Hey. You, you just don't jump in there with them tonight. <laughs> just stay out of there tonight. But no, I want to tell you about these honor stars. Like I said, they're our fifth graders. They've been with me for three years. They're going to move up to youth. And these ladies have worked very, very hard. And when I say hard, I want you all to listen. I'm going to call out a couple of things that these ladies have done. During the three years, these ladies have earned 27 badges. 27 badges. Yes. It goes on from there. These ladies have memorized the books of the Bible. They have read the whole New Testament. They have written a hundred-word essay on integrity. And not only what the definition of that word is, but how we use that and how we become women of integrity and we live our lives the way that God intended us to. They um, memorized the statement of faith. And for some of y'all that don't know, the statement of faith is a 15-point statement of faith these ladies have memorized. They know... Um, they know about end-time events, salvations. They learn their ABCs of salvation. They also learn the 10 steps, the 10 major events that happen um, in the life of Christ, not only in Matthew, but Mark, Luke, and John. So at this time, we're going to call forth our first honor star. And our first honor star tonight is going to be Miss Brooke Brunson. And Sister Lisa's going to read. We had the girls... We had the girls come through and answer some questions, so. This is Brooke Ashlyn Brunson. Her parents are Jason and Christy Brunson. Her escort tonight is her father, Jason Brunson. What Brooke remembers most, oh, the, I'm sorry, the unit that she remembers the most is sports. The most valuable lesson she learned in STARS was to work hard. Her hobbies is volleyball and singing, and if she could tell one thing, to people about the Bible, it would be to read it. The one person that has made a wonderful difference in her life is Bailey for always pushing me to my limit. I think Girls Club is important because you can make friends. Her favorite scripture is 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. She is involved in Arson Student Ministries and she wants to be a teacher when she grows up. crown you honor star. Next, we have Taylor Leanne Irwin. Her parents are Mike Irwin and Terry Irwin. Her escort tonight is her father, Mike Irwin. The unit that she remembers most was cooking. The most valuable le lesson she learned in STARS was integrity. Her hobbies and interests are hunting, I'm sorry, hunter jumping and basketball. If she could tell people one thing about the Bible, it would be that God loves you. The one person that has made a wonderful difference in her life is her teacher, Gigi, or Miss Angie. 
and that is for teaching her the word. I think the girls' club is important because it shows the love of God. Her favorite scripture is all of them. She is involved in other ministries in church, in arts and student ministries, and she wants to be a vet when she grows up. Pastor crowns you. Honors the Lord. Alyssa Nicole Matthews. Mother's name is Heather Carmichael. Her escort tonight is her papa, Brother Tommy Carmichael. The unit she remembers most is integrity. The most valuable lesson she's learned in STARS is to not be mean. Her hobbies are volleyball and dance. And if she could tell anything about the Bible, it would be to follow Jesus. The one person that has made a wonderful difference in her life is her mom. I think the girls' club is important because you learn about Jesus. Her favorite scripture is Joshua 24, 15. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. She's involved in Arson Student, Arson Student Ministries and the serve team on Mag Kids. And she wants to be a wedding and party planner when she grows up. <laughs> Mr. Crown Jew, Honor Stone. These girls have worked so very hard, and, and I know I tried to, to tell you everything that they've done, but it's only been a scratch to the surface. Pastor Jesse, they're super excited about coming to youth. And you've got a great group of girls coming in. I love you girls. All right, Miss Becky. Okay, I want the, all the sponsors, if they will, the teachers to come back up for just a minute, please. And I don't know, Pastor, do you have anything you want to say? The Word of God proclaims that there's one thing that's required of a steward, and that is that that steward be faithful. And I am so thankful for the teachers and the leadership that you've seen on the platform tonight. And um, I, I just want to say this. Pastor promises you this to you. You will never come to us with a need that it does not get met. It will get met. And it will not cost these kids one penny. This church will take care of that because we invest in the lives of our kids. And I want to instruct my lady over the next few days. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want you to have a ladies evening out. Yes, sir. And you take, <laughs> you take them to the finest restaurant that you can find. And Brother Mac Crumpler will pick up the bill. Amen. 
Girls, y'all figure out where you want to go. We're going. <laughs> Would y'all give all of our ministers a hand? Appreciate them. They are worthy of it. Hallelujah. earlier there's no way we could do this without these ladies and these ladies are always here and if they're not here they've called somebody and got somebody to fill in their spot and sometimes it's me bless those children but I promise you on Wednesday nights I stand at the end of the hall and I peep around the corner <laughs> just to see if the, day, uh, the rainbow teacher is in the classroom <laughs> hey hey she, she prays oh, for God, please. she begins praying on Wednesday morning that everybody is well and everybody's at their post to duty come Wednesday night. Just a little something from your church to y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Don't they do a great job? Oh, and um, we have refreshments tonight. Ladies, come up here. See, everybody is to come, the back Come of the about stage. right here. Sweetheart, you too. About, about right here. If the Lord tarries the next year, because if the wall wasn't there, they'd be in the baptistry. It's like they're afraid to come up close. We're going to strike a curtain across there or something and make them stand up here. Can all y'all see them now? Now give them another hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, ladies. God bless you. Thank you. My lady will be calling you. I'm going to take you out. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Jesse, come here. If our musicians would come back to the platform, please, and our singers. Tonight in our Family Life Center, we have refreshments and everything else back there. We want you to come and uh, spend the time of fellowship with our honor stars and all the rest of our young ladies. And let's just have a time of fellowship back there. Um, son. Yeah, I want to sing something. Um, bring me my stand. I'm waiting for the rest of my singers. Where are they at? <laughs> they don't want to sing with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, hey, Michael, give me a little organ, would you? feel like Elvis. There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you believe all the victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Well, there is power, power, wonder working power 
Just a hand clap for praise tonight. Hallelujah. God bless all of our kids and our workers. God bless you as a church for supporting the ministries of your church that we may be able to invest into young lives for the glory of God. Bow your heads, please. Father, we love you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for this night of celebration. Father, you said that if we would train the child in the way they should go, that when they would get old, that that training would never depart from their lives. And Father, tonight we believe that. And God, through labor and prayer, God, we invest into the lives of those that you have put in our trust. And tonight, Lord, I just thank you for what I've seen in this church today. Tonight, Lord, as we celebrate what you are doing in the lives of our children. Father, now we ask that you bless this time of fellowship. God bless all the food to our body. Let our body go for your service. In Jesus' name, all God's people said amen and amen. Please join us in the Family Life Center for a time of celebration with all of our young ladies and young men.